Here we are again. And if you're following these England on a Plate series in, uh, in order, we've moved across from Oxfordshire into Buckinghamshire. And here we are going to cook Stoke and Church pie. Now Stoke and Church is a, a little village, sort of midway between London and Oxford. It was one of the coaching stops when the stagecoaches used to travel from London to Oxford. And people think that this pie may have been around for nearly three or four hundred years. Nobody's quite sure. And it was also quite difficult to find a, a genuine recipe. So I've sort of combined a few that I found and that's what we're going to be making. If you think anything else we've done has been simple, this beats it, I can assure you. So, I will roll up my sleeves in time-honoured tradition. You will see some pictures of Buckinghamshire. I will wash my hands and then we will go through the ingredients. So let us go through the ingredients. You will need, or for my recipe of Stoke and Church pie, which I think is as genuine as you can make it, 450 grams of meat, either chopped into small pieces or minced. And if you want, you can actually use genuine mince. I took a, uh, a joint of beef and minced it myself. Then you will need some macaroni. The macaroni you should cook first for about 10 or 12 minutes to soften it. And the amount of macaroni depends on how much meat you have. And I suppose in a way the amount of meat you have depends on how big your tin is that you're cooking it in. So the rule is 20% macaroni to meat. 450 grams of meat, which is what I've got, means 90 grams of macaroni. You will also need three hard boiled eggs and some short crust pastry. That's it. What could be simpler? Utensils gets even simpler. You will need a bowl, a wooden spoon and something to cook it in. I'm using a loaf tin actually. So that's it, that's all you need. And now watch how simple it is to do. Are we ready? Where's, where's he? Albert, are we ready? What are you doing up there? You don't know. Okay. Uh, here we go. Right. Believe it or not, this is what you do. You put your meat in a bowl. You add your macaroni. You mix it in. So the macaroni is dispersed amongst the meat. I think I might have maybe just left my macaroni a bit too long after I'd cooked it and it's put itself back together. Right, so you do that. You then move that to one side. Either side, doesn't matter, left, right, I'm not worried. Then you get your pastry and start to roll it out like so. You take your tin and you measure the top because you are going to put a lid on your pie. And that will be your lid. Remove, oh, remove that. The remainder of the pastry, not the lid part, the other bit, you use to line your tin. 
like so. Then you add a layer of your meat and macaroni mixture to the tin, uh, to the, well, on top of the pastry. Just throw that in any old how. I think I might have done it better if I hadn't used the wooden spoon. <laughs> okay, good. Then you add a layer. Smooth it out. I think we can have one more in this corner. Like so. Hope you're watching this, Albert. You can make this for tea one day. Meanwhile, you'd have cut your hard boiled eggs into quarters and used them to make another layer. Doesn't really matter how you do it or where you fit them, just try and fit them in as best you can. Cut them in slices if you want, you know. I don't dictate what you do. You can do it your way. And then if it goes wrong, you can't say, well, I did it Richard's way and it went wrong. Not stupid me, you know. So there we have very neatly our second layer and then I think you can probably see this you put the remaining layer of meat not too much and macaroni obviously over the egg and again smooth it down so it's about the same level as the top of your tin. One little thing I should tell you is because this uses any old meat and it's therefore very cheap, people think that the coaching in at um, Stoken Church may have prepared this for any travellers who were coming. Probably charged them quite a lot of money for it. But anyway, that may or may not be so. Take the bit you cut out as the lid and put it on as the lid. Mix it, uh, mix it, fix it to the sides. Doesn't matter if you've got a bit left over. Just push it down, crimp it. You can crimp it. You can even put, if you've got a bit left over, look, you can roll it up and put a, a whatever you like on it. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Well, it's an N or a U, or a C, or an N, as I said. But anyway, the last thing you do is to paint the top, paint the top, uh, with beaten egg, and that's to make it go nice and golden. It's not quite the last thing you do either. So, using the pastry brush that I didn't tell you you needed, because I knew you were intelligent to know you'd need it, or the extra egg that I didn't tell you you'd need, because I knew you were intelligent enough to know that you needed it, or even the jug in which you will have beaten the egg up with. Beaten the egg in. In. So, beat the egg, and then use that to paint the top of your Stoke and Church pie. And the letter NCO. I get a painting, aren't I? If you've seen any of my painting, I failed art at uh, GCSE, O level as it was. It's quite a difficult subject to fail. So I think uh, there's a lot of skill involved. Right, once you've done that, there's only one thing left to do. Put it in the oven. Oh no, I told you, there's one other thing. Sorry, I forgot. Make, <laughs> make some little holes in the top so that We don't go through. Make a few little holes in the top to let the pie breathe. You don't want a dead pie, do you? Of course not. Right, in the oven,
guess mark 180 roughly in the middle shelf and that goes in for about 30 minutes check it it's when the top is browned it's ready obviously you you soften the macaroni you've cooked the meat they're already cooked you could just eat them but it's the pastry so come and check it after 15 20 25 minutes then you can take it out uh, are you gonna wait there for me or no okay come back in uh, when I've decided it's okay see ya okay I've come out and made a few checks and I think Stoke and Church pie is now ready what about you looks pretty good to me let's put it up here right so there we have it Stoke and Church pie I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit now I'm gonna take a slice so you can have a look at it Meanwhile, you can have a look at the ingredients, which won't take long. So the idea of using Beethoven's Ninth Symphony as a background it won't happen. We'll use the backing of our song, which, if you remember, we are asking you to record. Some have, but not the whole 70 million in this country. You're lacking. Back in a minute. there we have Stoken Church Pie and there is my portion and just for you I'm going to give it a try not very easily nothing wrong with that in fact quite nice see you next time